Okay, so guys, um, so now we got the seat in there. Um, it's finally looking like, it's finally looking decent. It feels nice. It feels really good to finally sit in there and have the right position. Even though my head's banging around and stuff, it's, it's close enough that I'm happy with it. And it's going to make me feel a lot more comfortable when I'm actually driving. So now what I've got is I've got this piece. Okay, so if you can see there, that is the bracket that I made initially for the clutch stop. So basically the way this would work is it would sit up against the pedal, pedal would hit this and it would stop. I smoothed it down so it would fit right. Problem is, after we took that piece out uh, in between the bell housing and the engine block, it gave us a gap to where now, when we hit the clutch all the way down and it hits this, it's too close and it's causing more problems. So it's basically causing the pressure plate to knock on the uh, inner portion of the transmission of the bell housing. That's not very good. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a new one of these that's longer. So instead of being this long, it's going to be that long. And that should hopefully fix our problem. I don't know. We'll see. So let's do it. Okay, so now you can probably see that we got these two pieces here. This is the same metal that I cut it from. And you can see the difference is basically that little half inch that we welded off. So I'm going to use this as a template to know how big we need to make it. I'm just going to make a mark and then I'm going to cut it off. Should be pretty easy. Boom, so now I got my line. Okay, here we go. Whew, that was hot. Hot, 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 but nice and clean, pretty straight. Not 100%, but it's close. We'll grind it to where it's nice and even. So here's a comparison of just how close we got it. Pretty close. So we'll just grind this end flush, so that way it's nice and easy. And you can see that's going to give us the extra lift that we need. And then we'll just drill the holes. Okay guys, so now I've got these two pieces and they're basically the same thing. So I'm lining them up against each other so that this way I can mark where I'm going to drill the hole into the back side of this piece. And I'm going to take my punch, which is freaking awesome, put it in the center of that area there. Spring loaded punch. And you just... Boom, and now I've got my hole perfectly centered and it's ready to be drilled. So now that's all I gotta do. So as you can probably tell, I drilled a, a few miss holes, <laughs> but I eventually got it. So now we'll go and see if this thing matches up inside the car. So as you can see, it actually seems to fit okay. So now we just need to paint it and then see how the clutch works with it at that length. Um, and if it works okay, then we'll uh, be good to go. So let's do that. Okay, so now I got that thing bolted up. So now let's start the car and see what happens. Okay, so that was really good. So what's nice about that is that I can have my foot all the way down and it's not making that clunk, 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 clunk sound that it was making before, but yet it still has enough room to where I can let off and slowly slip the clutch. So I think that's the perfect size pedal stop. Um, it's basically just before we're about to come off of the clutch. So any shorter, it'd be a problem and any longer, it'd be too close to the engagement point. So this is just about perfect. So I'm really happy with this. Okay guys, so now I'm just going to hit this thing with some paint real quick. And then we'll let that sucker dry. Well guys, I'd say that, that came out pretty damn good. So now I'll just go bolt that up real fast. And we got her in there, looking pretty good. Alright guys, so that's pretty much all that I'm going to get done with today. Today's been quite a crazy day. It's been insane, but it's been really good. Um... It's getting late. There's not much more I'm going to do. I got that plate back on there. It's nice and neat. And now the car rides like it should. It's pretty nice because I can pound that clutch all the way in. And I know for a fact that it's still going to do what I need it to do. And we're not going to have it knocking around anymore. My seating position's good. There's so many good things that happened today. So we've made some significant progress. 
it's getting close. It's getting down to the wire. We're getting really, really close to getting this thing done. So hopefully we'll be able to do this. Hopefully there won't be any issues. And hopefully this car is actually going to be set up right. And we won't have any more problems. Because, man, it's always something. But you know what? I'm determined. This is going to be good. We started working on this really early. So we've had plenty of time to get it ready. And it couldn't be any better right now, honestly. I think, I think we're going to be having a lot of fun out there. Hopefully both the cars will hold up. Me and Austin will actually either go tandem. I'm really excited to get out there and go drifting. I hope to see you guys in the next one. And just remember guys, keep drifting simple.